Hello, Facebook, YouTube. All right, all right. Okay, okay. This one's interesting. I was talking to a, a, a friend of mine, her kids, and I was quite, you know, I always, when I meet kids, I question their activity and see what they're doing and see other stuff they may can be interested in doing. You know what I'm saying? You at that age that you can, tr it's important to be trying to explore other things you can do instead of negative things. Yeah, there's something you can, there's always something for everybody to do in life. They just don't want to, the topic of my message. Yeah, Mac is going to go on the topic of his message. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> But the topic of this message is for everybody, Raleigh, Charlie, everybody. But the topic of this message is talking about the reality of, see now the Bible talks about, my boy Peter talks about the trying of your faith that you, you know, might be tried by the fire, become pure as gold. But Mac is going to talk about the reality of the trying of faith you know uh, you know the try the, the, the try the faith let me see the reality of the faith that tries that's where I'm going with the faith that tries you know what I'm saying and the thing is here's the thing that God taught me especially with the story of you know Peter you know old Pete you know what I'm saying that Pete with a desire within his heart wanted to walk on water you know what I'm saying and uh, and he asked Jesus can he come and Jesus said come and Peter's like I, I wonder if Peter was like wait a minute he's gonna just let me just walk on water just like that <laughs> yeah now, I, the most important thing that you need to get from this story of Peter walking on water is this word, desire. Desire. He desired to want to walk on water. Wait a minute. Peter do not have the ability to do or capability of walking on water. But he asked Jesus, uh-oh. That's a message by itself. He asked Jesus. Ha, ha, ha. Woo, that sounds like a powerful message. But anyway, he asked Jesus meant him to come. He says, come. So he gets on walk on water. He's walking and walking and walking on water. Yeah, I got, yeah. see, you know, you know, he, you know, said, oh, I'm walking on water. Oh, I'm walking on water. Oh, yeah, I got it. Uh oh, no, 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 wrong words. That's that's a bad word in the kingdom of God, you know. Y'all think it's a good word, but in the kingdom of God, that's a bad word. I, you know, we kind of don't like this me, myself, and I thing. You know what I'm saying? Certain certain scriptures we can, you know, that complies like, you know, I can do all things through Christ that strengthen me. We'll let that go. We'll let that go. But that I, you know, I got it. <laughs> Eh, that's not a good word for the kingdom of God because here's the problem when we start believing that we have our own capability of accomplishing things you know what I'm saying and doing what we want to do with what we is given to us we start getting this thing called the big head yeah or overly confident more likely they call cockiness and we think it's all about us and then Peter got that, bam, I'm, I'm walking on water. Wait a minute, I'm walking too far out here. Oh no, how can I, uh, and started drowning for some apparent reason. And Jesus comes, of course, Jesus got to bail us out when we get on that eye, you know, that, that you, know, you know, ego trip, I call it, uh, and bail us out, pick us up off the water for not us to drown, and spared, you know, Peter's life of giving it a try. And the thing is, what? A, and he, and then 
Now watch what Jesus says to Peter that's important for this message that you need to grasp and understand. O oh, ye with little faith. More likely you did not have enough faith to accomplish, to fulfill, to walk all the way towards me. Yes, you did not have a lot of faith. Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things that are not seen. That only is in a spiritual realm and faith come by hearing and hearing the word of God. You don't have enough of the word of God to accomplish, to go all the way to Jesus. Oh, was Jesus trying to refer that to Peter? Hmm. Well, here's the trying faith you know what i'm saying here's the thing i you know i noticed about people i i was telling the little girl like, asking her questions uh, could she try doing this and try doing that and she was like well uh, that response right there that she's doing is a response that a lot of people do when i ask them to go try this go try 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 see try yeah that there was but well oh my that is beyond me it's far fetch and I think that I am afraid to go beyond me wait a minute afraid uh oh that shows an indication that fear is somewhere in their hearts of not trying to do something that is beyond their ability. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hope y'all know where I'm going with this. And I see people, you know, to you know, try to do this, try to do that, try to do something that it may be far-fetched, but you know, give it a try, will you? I mean, yeah, you might fail, may you might succeed. Hello, sir, how you doing? All right, have a wonderful day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you might succeed, maybe you'll fail, but it's the adventure of seeing the possibilities. See, here's the thing about, I don't know if you know about what Jesus said about his father. He said, with God, all things are possible. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it, with God, all things are possible. So if you start, you know, I believe people need to start learning what faith is all about. If they truly want to try something and want to do something that will try to expand them beyond their own abilities, they need to start learning how to be faithful or learning the substance of things that are hopeful and the evidence of things that are not seen. Now, this is why people will not dig faith because of its substance, really, because faith is about hope and hope is like the near future because, you know, when you operate in you know, lust is all about the instant gratification, you know, instant, you know, it's right there, you know what I'm saying? It's a pleasure right there. You're enjoying it right there and you feel the uh, rush and the, for the moment right there. And they like to involve themselves in those kind of things that carry about that activity. And the thing is, you know, a lot of people are not understanding that, you know, fear hinders you to not perform what you possibly capable of doing. Like, you know, I think, you know, I like what Andy Menio was doing this uh, freestyle, you know what I'm saying, uh, on suede or something. And he was talking about, you know, this part that he said, you know, I don't see drug dealers, I don't see, you know, you know, bad people. I see teachers and lawyers and whatever. I see people that can be presidents. I see this, I see that. And these people that's doing all this negative. You know what I'm saying? He, the, the possibilities are endless for every individual. For every individual. But it's a matter of faith if you want to see if it's possible for you to achieve or it's not possible for you to achieve. And the thing is, you know, people just, you know, sit and they just you know, follow people that are wondering. You know what I'm saying? There's two sets of people. There's people that are wonderful, that are doing wonderful things. 
but there's the other people that you better be careful not being around that people that are wondering they're just wandering around aimlessly don't really know what they can do or not trying to find out what they're capable of doing or trying out doing different things and stuff like that they just wandering around <laughs> can I be this great actor <laughs> can I be a, com a ma model can I build a, an, a skyscraper can I design you know the greatest you know um, uh, clothes in the in the world, can I, you know, build a rocket ship that can go to Mars, you know, and back? Can I just wonderingly, aimlessly, wondering if what's in me and aggravated and and still aggravated and aggravated? And you know, these people they suppress their aggravation. They, that's what people in the cent centers do. They it, try to suppress it. Just knock it, stop, stop, you know. Knock off this cry of trying to see and figure out what kind of person I am. L let me go g get a drink. Let me go smoke something. Let me go take this drug. Let me go do this. Stop this cry. Stop the, this wondering if I can do the impossible thing. Stop, stop it. I don't want to know if I can, you know, be the first person to do this or uh, accomplish and achieve something like that. But guess what? It takes faith to do that it takes faith is necessary we gonna need this substance that Peter had because Peter gave it a try uh, watch this he gave it a try with the desire to see well maybe see maybe I can walk on water maybe it's possible to do it but guess what Peter learned a hard lesson that you gonna need Jesus Christ if you want to keep on walking on water or running on water, you're going to need Jesus Christ. So what Paul says, you need to going to be looking to Jesus. Watch this. The author, you know, the author, the, the authority of your faith. Faith, there goes that word faith. You know, the author, oh, oh, oh sorry, author and the finisher. The one that's going to be, the one that could have, if Peter was in, understood that, he would have probably walked all the way to Jesus looking at him. He, he's going to finish my journey to get to him. But he didn't see that at that time. Peter didn't see Jesus at that He didn't understood that at that time. But the thing is, you're going to need Jesus to um, finish this. Everybody's trying to walk and do amazing things and you know this author in their own authority <laughs> yeah and uh, a lot of people you know what goes up must come down in that kind of mindset you know they have but no you look and pride fall you know but the thing is if we learn how to take heed of the scriptures and look to Jesus the author and the finisher of our faith to accomplish things, we will find out how much we can do the impossible through Christ. I mean, through Christ, I mean, through to God, through Christ, see? You know, and that's the idea we need to understand to, like I say, put on Jesus. You know, that, that the scriptures say, put on Jesus. We can become faithful. Now we become faithful. Now we can be full of opportunity full of taking opportunities to see if maybe I can do this or see if maybe I can do that you can be full of opportunities you know what I'm saying that's what you know God want us to be full of that you know what I'm saying and that to sit, try this and try that and try that and try this and then we will learn the reality of the what I said that's the topic of the message I forgot it's the the, the faith that tries you know what I'm saying? The faith that tries. I hope you enjoyed the message. I hope you develop the faith that tries and stop wondering what you can, can't do and start, learn, start having a wonderful life knowing that you can do things through Christ that strengthens you, the impossible things. All right, that's the message. To God be the glory here forever and ever and ever in Jesus' name. Amen.